What's going on guys? I want to give you probably one of the biggest tips to being successful as a fitness enthusiast, as somebody that's trying to lose weight, gain weight, drop body fat, whatever it is, if you apply this to your life, I promise you, man, it's going to change things. It's going to make it that much easier for you to reach your fitness goals, whatever it is. Run a marathon, 5K, Ironman, uh, train for a fitness bodybuilding competition. If you adapt this mindset, there is nothing that you will not be able to accomplish. Now, um, first things first, I have a background in ministry. I went to seminary, fully theological, what, what, Pasadena, California. So I have my master's in divinity. And prior to that, or after that, I'm sorry, I taught. But at the same time, taught at the K through 12 level, six, seven, and eight grade math. Most people assume I'm a PE instructor, it's not the case. Um, and then I have been a personal trainer for the past 10 years. Now, those are three different aspects of life, but it also has tied directly into this philosophy that I have adopted, that I have preached, that I've shared with other people. And that is that we are three part beings. Now, that's probably something that you've heard from a little kid. And every single major religion will agree with that. Even different atheist sects, sex, sex will back me up when I say that we are comprised of mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, spirit. No matter how you phrase it, spiritual, mental, physical, we have three main components that make us who we are. When you think of a vehicle, every single car has certain components that makes it uh, excel at its optimal level of performance. You can look at the gas mileage, you can look at the engine, you can look at all these different things and when they're running on the right track, when you properly take care of each one, you're going to get that car's optimal level of performance. When it comes to us, we work the exact same way. If we take care of our mind, if we take care of our body, if we take care of our spirit, and we have all three components of our physical or of our being working on the same level, then we're going to maximize our optimal level of performance. But the problem is when it comes to mental, physical, and spiritual, for the most part in our fitness journeys, we only focus on one aspect, and it's the physical. I get it. It's what we can see. We can visualize. We can look at a number on a scale. We can check our body fat percentage. We can see how our clothes fit. It's easy to simply focus on the physical aspect of things. But if you want to reach that optimal level of performance, if you want to reach it to where it's not a constant struggle, it's not a daily grind, you got to tap into all three components that comprise us, that comprise who we are, the mental, physical, and spiritual. All right? Now, for those of y'all who are Christians, who are religious, who are spiritual, please hold on to this. We cannot compartmentalize who God is in our lives. We can't say, God, I know that you're a spiritual being. I know that you can help me with this area, with my bills. I know you can help me with my family, my relationship, my crazy husband, my crazy wife. I know you can help me with all aspects of this part of my life. But when it comes to fitness, I got this on my own, man. I'm going to go grind. I'm going to hit that Stairmaster. I'm going to struggle with my meals. Nah, look, y'all have one of the biggest weapons for success at your fingertips, at your voice, at the beckoning of your call, and you don't use it. And that's what trips me out when it comes to this fitness journey. We do not use God like we should. We can ask God anything and everything. This man done created the heavens, the earth, the solar system, the sun, the moon, the tide. He got gravity on check. He got all this stuff on check. But when it comes to us dropping 10 pounds, <laughs> we just go to our trainer. Or we just adapt or uh, gravitate to the next fad diet. Yo, if you want to be successful in your fitness journey, I'm not even just talking about life, period. But right now, if you want to be successful with your fitness journey, Call on the man upstairs. Call on God. A lot of us have, we have strongholds when it comes to weight loss. We have strongholds. We have food addictions. We have things that make this weight loss journey 
that much more difficult, that much more challenging. And it's not simply because we're not willing to work. It's because we have some spiritual connections to food. We have some spiritual connections to uh, inconsistency or not being able to stay focused. And guys, your trainer is not going to be able to help you on that. Your fitness partner, your accountability partner is not going to be able to help you on that. You got to call on God. Like just straight up. There's no way around it. You got to call on God on that. I know too many people who have been successful lost 50 pounds, 60 pounds. I got clients who have lost 100 pounds, 200 pounds. But the crazy thing about it is a lot of them gain it right back. Why? Because it's more than just a physical thing. It's an emotional. It's a spiritual. It's a mental. If you simply focus on the physical thing, but you don't take care of what's causing the physical thing to occur, it's going to come back. It's going to keep coming back. Y'all got to make sure that you focus on the mental, the physical, and the spiritual. Don't compartmentalize God to just being at the church. Don't compartmentalize God to just worrying about the spiritual things in your life. Allow him to worry about the physical as well. Invite him into your workout sessions. Invite him into your, your diet planning. Like, I'm going to be real with y'all. I love food. I found myself 50 pounds heavier in my early 20s. I ran track my whole life. I was able to eat whatever I wanted. I was the dude that went to IHOP and ordered two entrees every single time. Like two entrees. I got the, the T-bone steak and eggs and the moons over my hand. I don't know if they even have it anymore. I barely go anymore. But I was that dude. I ate two entrees wherever I went. Ask my parents. Ask anybody. And I got to a point where I wasn't as physically active. And so I gained 50 pounds. Found myself 50 pounds overweight. Got a trainer, worked out for three months in preparation for my marriage. And basically, I lost five pounds in three months. I spent over $1,500 um, in California for my trainer. And I'm not blaming him, but what happened was I didn't realize there was other strongholds besides the physical. Once I realized that there was other strongholds besides the physical, and I took a step back. And I realized I had an unhealthy relationship with food. That I realized I was eating or drinking when I was depressed. When I realized I was turning to these things instead of turning to God, that's when I started making that connection. And that's when I started being successful without my trainer, without any other, any other person, but just me and God. It was an opportunity for me to get that connection where it was the mental, the physical, and the spiritual. So I want to encourage y'all, guys, if you're trying to be successful and you have not achieved success up until this point, don't give up. Don't simply go out and get the surgeries. Don't, uh, you know, jump from one diet to the next. Don't change your trainer. Don't do anything different except include God in your journey. We are three-part beings, mental, physical, and spiritual. And as crazy as it sounds, the physical is probably the least significant when it comes to being successful in your journey. Y'all, follow me on Instagram at Jamaican Muscle. I want to give y'all as many tips and advice and inspiration for being successful in your journey.